It's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and it's experiment time. We're actually going to doctor finished beer with uh, solutions yes. of uh, calcium chloride Yep. and calcium sulfate. Yes. Oh, boy. All right, take me through. So so this beer in front of us, in three, it's the same beer, three different cups. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you saying this is a hundred milliliters. One hundred milliliters. Hundred milliliters each. Yep. And all these beer, cups. A finished beer. This a is finished the, beer. This is your golden homegrown Magnum Hop lager. Yes. Right. Yes. And so, you know, I didn't do anything to the water chemistry. It came out right out of the tap, outside of filtering it to try to get out of it. And I think I used a Camden tablet just to get all the chlorine out of it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, no, like I'm gonna add this salt or this you know, mineral to the water to try to shake up the actual flavor profile. But you're saying to me yep. that we can doctor this now, mm -hmm. post-fermentation, post-conditioning, post-carbonation. Yes. And then like see if next time that if I wanted to go heavy with uh, chloride or sulfate, um, mm -hmm. you know, we could taste it by right. doctoring this, this, these beers. Yes. And getting a sense of, you know, maybe adding some salts to the water beforehand because it'll make a big difference in the taste. So there's 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 folklore, folklore. of conventional wisdom. the old timers uh -huh. putting table salt. In their lagers That's right. to change the flavor profile, right? Yes. Essentially, what you're doing is you can add chloride or sulfate to a beer after the fact to push the flavor profile, the water profile that drives flavor in the finished beer as if you had done it in the first place. So remember, we always talk about for water chemistry, just worry about the mash. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about style profiles and all that stuff. Then do that in the kettle. But if you made a beer and you felt like, oh, this, the hops aren't crisp enough or the malt's a little flabby, you could say to yourself, well, is that a water profile issue? Yep. You can take your final beer and attempt to do something like this to drive either with chloride or with sulfate the, the way that the beer presents itself. So what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to have one beer as a control beer. That's this one. Mm -hmm. So as John said, we've got 100 mLs each of beer here, right? And what we've made... What did you make? I made, we made some calcium chloride, some calcium sulfate. But this solution is 5,000 ppm of chloride. Mm -hmm. So if we put, um, so for every ml, one ml into 100, we would knock the 5,000 down to 50 ppm. Oh. So we can make, we can now take this beer that, that John just happened to not do any water chemistry on, and we can add 50 oh, ppm help. of chloride and see how it changes the flavor, or we can add 50 ppm of sulfate and see how it changes the flavor. What we're gonna do is just to make sure we drive it home, because we only have this much beer, we're gonna do 100 ppm of chloride and then 100 ppm of sulfate. Okay. So that's gonna be pretty 100 simple. 100 parts per million into these beers. So I'll do this and then I'll let you try to screw it up yourself. So here's that's two ml, so I'm going right to the hoping. two ml mark, right? I'm just going to put it in into there. So that's my chloride addition. Okay. You I'll do the same guy. thing. It's yep. going to spill all over the place. Yep. Hold on. Where is the, where I go right up the that line right there, 2 ml. Ah, right. Yeah. Ah, look at this. It's like it's like you do this for a living, but yep. you know, this is like It's okay. It doesn't have to be super exact. Sophomore year of chemistry. Right. Here we go. Okay, now what's interesting here is that this is the chloride. So, so what's interesting is that calcium chloride is way more soluble than calcium sulfate. That's so cloudy. This is a little cloudy, so we really have a suspension, not a solution for all your chemistry geeks out there. Thanks. Okay, but I'm going to use my control there a little bit just to rinse that out. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add two, I'm going to get a good, I mixed it, and then this should dissolve once it hits the beer. One, because it's more acidic, and see, look at that. Huh. And then you can do not that. Not as cloudy. Look at that. Okay. That was the best transfer you've ever seen. All right, now and then, once we're done with that, we're going to taste these beers and we're going to experience, hopefully, control beer versus something that's got a little more chloride. Let's focus on cheers. Control. Control cheers. beers. All right, smells like it used to. Tastes like it used to. Mm. It's good. Yep, it's good. It's good. All right, okay. so now with now with 100 ppm of chloride. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this could be a disaster. Let's find out. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. It's a little saltier. I mean, I get yeah. like a saltiness. Maybe 100 ppm is a bit much here. But I want to taste it. It actually kind of. Um, yeah, I can see how the yeah the sharpness of the hops is a little. Yeah. Dull. I'm getting a little bit. Once it warms up, my mouth is a little bit more. Are you still drinking chloride? Yeah. Okay. Um, Hold on. You can jump ahead. No, no, no. There's a little bit. I think there's a little bit more body to the malt, malt profile. Now, granted. We're sort of biasing ourselves because yes, we know what we're we doing, know here, what we're doing but, but anyway, all right, let's jump into the sulfate. And let's see if it's like bracingly bitter now. Not really, but. Oh. Ooh. It's, yeah, it's it's different, huh? It's definitely brighter than this one. Yes, no, that's absolutely true. So this one's a little bit disappointing, but to be honest, <laughs> there's not a lot of malt there. No. So this is something that when you, I read, read articles and blogs about doing experiments like oh well, we did a hellas and we always do a hellas because there's nothing to hide behind well mm. in this example there's also actually not much to manipulate like that's the other side of that coin nothing to hide behind but there's not much to manipulate this being a smash beer experiment to begin with i'm not surprised that the sulfate is a little more dynamic yeah true i'm not sure i i would say that you know maybe adjusting the sulfate a little bit. Mm. I'm not sure if I like it at this mm. particular parts per million. <laughs> I kind of do. It tastes a little harder. Mm. Oh, and then the lingering bitterness is. That's yeah. That's there. But it's a, but to be fair too, it's not like hitting me over the head. No, it's not. I'm not it's like not oh my gosh, right? But it's but it's noticeable in in the side it's by side. It's making a little brighter. Yeah, definitely a little brighter. Yeah. So what you would do with this goes okay. So that's a hundred ppm. Maybe uh, maybe that's too much. Yeah. So maybe if you were to brew this again, in the batch now, you'd say, I'm going to go to 60 ppm. Yep. Right? And add enough to the water to get to 60 ppm. See what you get. Now, there's one last thing I want to try with some, you know, I still got most of the control beer left. I'm going to go and sort of make a balanced. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to go one mil and one mil. See what happens here. One mil. And I'll rinse out the so, chloride solution. All right. So what do you? All right. What do you think this is going to get well, you? Well, this would be. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to tell you in a second. Because it's not like I was using this, dist like distilled or. Uh, I know. All right. Yeah, we're still fighting our house water, but our house, our house water is really soft. Yes, supposedly, right? I agree. All right. Well, hold on. I gotta taste the control. Yeah, you get first. the control. Control. Okay. I think that's the balance. Ver and if you were gonna make this beer, you'd probably want to favor yellow balanced as a, yeah. as a as a profile yeah. right no i agree not just all sulfate all calcium all uh, chloride driven that's not that bad no it's not it um, makes me wonder again so i did 50 50 uh, not 50 by mix but 50 ppm 50 ppm not 100 100 yeah um so that's interesting what it does is like there's a malt background aftertaste mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the control yeah and that goes away when you start tinkering with the um, the chemistry when yeah. you start putting stuff in. Then it becomes, to me, there's like a Play-Doh, it's almost like a Play-Doh yeah. thing yeah. going on there. But this is helping that. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't know if it's, have we twisted the... Um, it finishes drier. It just, yeah, I, th th I, think that, and I think that's the contribution of the sulfate for yeah. sure. It's giving you like a, a drier finish to it. Mm. But it's almost like that bit of chloride in there too is sort of like, helped round the malt a bit yeah. and made it less flabby. Like this is, maybe that's the, that yeah. Play-Doh-y thing. Maybe we can, in our minds, think of that as, the, the malt's just a little loose. It's not one thing or another as far as how it's defined, yeah. but the chloride's helping to tighten it up a yep. little bit, giving it a defined thing to taste. A more refined, thing to taste. defined yeah. flavor. I agree. That's so interesting. So this is something I've always wanted to do. I did it this way with solution because a lot of people say that you, you sprinkle a little of the powder in, but then I would worry about just losing more carbonation because yeah. that, that would be nucleation. So I just made a concentrated solution. So um, how did you make this solution for all the folks at home who may want so to? So I just used a calculator thing? and and typed in. Um, you can do it by hand if you're clever, but um, I just used a calculator and did how many 
grams per liter gives me 5,000 ppms of chloride. I used on Brewer's Friend, I did it that way. I just put in for the water amount one liter. Mm -hmm. Then I typed in how many grams I had for a liter. Then whatever that number was, I divided it by 20 to get down to 50 ml. Actually, yeah, to 50 mLs, yep. which is really like less than a gram. So what I actually did, not that you really want these details, but I'm a lab guy. So my scale, I can't, I didn't feel confident weighing like 0.65 grams of calcium chloride. So instead of making 50 mils, I made 150 mils and weighed out 1.9 nice. grams. That's what you do. That's what, That's you, what do. you do. And then you, you put that. And then, in. then I just put it in here, so it was easier to, to do. So how did you like you, this? Is like how did you make the solution? Mm -hmm. um, did you do you put it in your centrifuge? No, I just, we, I had, we had a glass jar, 150 mls, and, just, and we just stirred it. I just stirred it up nice. until it dissolved. This dissolves pretty readily. Yeah, this does um, not. This does not, be, only because it's too concentrated. 55,000 ppm is too much for this huh. uh, to go into solution, all of it to go in. Some of it is in solution. But if you make a suspension like this and mix it, and, and you go in there and you pipette up and down a little bit and add it, there's it's now dissolved, right? Yeah. So the suspension, now there's enough solvent to dilute the solute for all you chemistry nerds out there. Nerds. You're, <laughs> you're bringing back all these terms. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that. Yep, I gave my kids a chemistry lesson while we were doing this. They're like, dad, we just wanna make our lunches and go to bed. <laughs> I'm like, this is important stuff. <laughs> uh, living at anyway, house. so the folklore of adding a little salt to your beer to season it. Yep. It, it holds up. Yep, it does. But trying exactly this with several different styles of beer, yeah, like something like a stout or a yeah, big amber beer or something, the, I bet the chloride's gonna have a bigger pronounced effect. Yep, yep, right? Especially if you're starting from a point w where you're not sure, could this beer be better? Sometimes you're saying, do I need more of ingredient X or do I just need more yep. salt? Yep. Right? Which this, it seems like, I need a little more salt. Right. You can put you can put <laughs> tomatoes in your sauce pot all you want, but if you don't add basil, it's never going to taste right. That's right. There. There you oh, go. Someone write that down. Please. Next Mike book. Warren, 2020. Yep. There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for watching for our awesome experiment. Yeah, we'll just mix these all together now. Balance. To see what's up. We'll see what's up with that. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because we do this every week. And um, give us a comment below if you've ever done this type of thing. Uh, this was uh, eye-opening for me. I hope it was eye-opening for you as well. And you can order these solutions for $19.95 on the web. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't, because then we'll get orders. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. And I'm not charging that amount of money. Maybe I should. Um, anyway, for these two fools, John and Mike, brew-dudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.